What is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna do a little unboxing. Yet another, well, you already saw the picture. It's a knife and it's made by CRKT. Been wanting this one for over a year at least. Uh, they came out with this knife, I don't know when, maybe a year or two ago, uh, but they came out with a bunch of different variations. Um, last year, Blade HQ came out with their uh, own variation made by CRKT. And it had green micarta handles, it had bronze uh, liners, and it had a stonewash D2 blade. And I really liked it. I don't have any knives with micarta, and that was going to be my first one. Um, but before I could get it, it was sold out. So I just added it to my wish list, figured it'll come back into stock. Well, it never did. It's been out for like a year. Um, so on that, I figured maybe I'll get another one eventually, um, one that I like. There's... I don't mind the regular green micarta one with the regular blade. It's not bad. I just, I'm more of a black blade, satin finish blade uh, over the, the standard silver, currently at least. Um, so last week they dropped another exclusive, which is what this is. And when I saw it, I'm glad I didn't get the other one because this one looks even cooler. Um, though I wish they came out with it in their new flipper version. So a little backstory in that. The version I have here is a thumb stud flipper. I guess you would call it a flipper. Um, but the new one has a flipper tab on the back. So you would open it just like this one. This is I was what I was carrying today. This is my Civivi Elementum. There's a little tab on the back here and you push it and the blade swings around. So this is the tab I just pushed. So it just rotates around. Um, it's just part of the blade. So when you apply pressure on the detent, it just swings the blade around. I think that would be a very, well, one, I really like them. They're super fidgety. Um, I, I probably prefer them over thumb studs. I, I like both, but the, the flippers are uh, more fidgety, I think. And... Uh, I really wish they came out with this one in a flipper versus the thumb stud. But if they do, maybe I'll grab it. Maybe I'll get rid of this one. Who knows? Um, but for now, this is what I got. And what this is, I don't know if it can be seen on there. It's the CEO and it's in shred carbon fiber with a D2 blade. So we're going to open this up and show you what's inside the box and we'll go from there. So like most CRKTs, it comes in this uh, green box uh, it's just a cardboard box but it has this like topo print on it always kind of neat comes with i forget what this is instructions or something like that for care yeah so that is not the knife i bought that is a new knife that is the kiss climbing okay so <laughs> how to avoid being asked to work on the weekend by your boss Tell your boss you have an emergency faking illness, cut a hole in the ceiling with this knife, and then crawl out. So this is not the knife I bought, but yeah, I don't really like it. I don't like the silver on silver. I'm not a silver. I like black blades, black handles, stuff like that. If this was black, I would probably consider it because I do like Tonto blades. And this kind of looks like a utility knife, and he's doing an escape artist version of utility there. Anyway, nothing to do with this knife today. So we'll just set that to the side. So what we got here is the CEO. And what this is, is a, what they consider a gentleman's knife. So uh, as you can see here, it has the shred carbon fiber scales, bronze uh, liners. It has, I don't know if this would be called like a bolster. I don't know what this would be called on here, uh, but that's bronze as well very shiny right now deep carry pocket clip kind of looks stone washed uh, two screws holding it in it is not flush mount like in the scale but the, the screws are recessed which is always nice doesn't tear up your pockets looks like two screws per scale hold it on uh, the pocket clip is not reversible so you can see there's no holes here and no holes here for it so it is just how it is which is tip down carry so if we see here's the thumb stud there's the tip of the blade so this is a tip down carry only so your pocket will sit here yeah and that'll sit against your leg not the worst thing i like it it's a uh it's a very slender knife 
Um, but as you can see, lengthwise, it fits in my hand very well. Um, it's not short at all. I don't know the specs on the length of the blade or the overall length. I would guess this is probably four and a half inches or so. And then the blade is, uh, I don't know, three, three and a half inches, somewhere in there. So that's it right there. I like this, this shape of this blade. It's kind of looks like a Japanese sword to me almost. Um, but it's very classic and classy shape. I like it. It is super light. It is uh, unbelievably lightweight. And that's because of the carbon, but also how thin and and just small this blade is. You can see it's it's small in, in height. Um, and it has a good length though. I, I, it's very, it's going to be very slicey. Uh, just because of the profile. I don't You can barely see it. Let's look over here. It is so thin, it almost disappears when you look straight down at it. And then even from the top where they, they cut in these uh, these recesses right here, it's so thin. I like this profile they have in here. And they have some sort of coating on it. I don't know what it is. It's, uh, it's, very, it's very, very smooth. Um, I'm assuming it's probably to prevent rusting and corrosion and stuff. Whatever it is, I like it. It's very nice. It should be on all blades. It feels awesome. I'm sure it'll help it glide through whatever you're cutting. Um, on the blade itself, you can see it says uh, CEO right here. And then it says Rogers Design. And then it has a little picture of a bearing. And then that's like a model number. And then it says D2. It is D2 blade, so that is model number 7096CM D2. So that's the blade there. It's a CRKT on the other side. You have your single-sided thumb stud. It screws in from this side. You can see it has this little milled out pocket for the, the stud to uh, reside in, which is pretty nice because once you close it, it disappears in there. You can see it sticks up, but it doesn't stick out at all in, in width. So. It has a little bit of a protrusion right there over the scale, not much, but very slim and slender overall. It, you can see it tapers down to the point here. Very, very nice. I like it a lot. Glad I got it. Um, as far as opening, is one-handed operation. No problem there. You can, it kind of pops open. The bearing is very good. It's not adjusted or lubed or anything like that. So. Uh, this will only get better with time, but um, one thing I am noticing here is with the thumb stud, normally I would push up to get uh, to get some action um, on a thumb stud. I would kind of push up and maybe out a little bit on a 45 or so. That doesn't work with this one because of that cutout. So what you have to do on this one is you're going to have to get your thumb in there and actually go out and cycle it around in like a radius. So, as you can see there, bringing it around and then just closing it, releasing the, the lock, which you can see the lock bar. The lock bar is pretty nice. It goes all the way over. I, I do worry though, when I see lock bars go that far over, that they can get stuck. I've had, I've had a few knives that when they really go that far over on there, Sometimes they'll get hung up on the edge of the blade and they won't allow you to release it as easy as this one is currently doing. Um, I don't know if that one's going to have an issue later on, uh, if it loosens up and it gets further over there or if it stays good. Um, but it is a very good lock. I mean, it is positive locking. It's it's covering almost the whole, uh, the whole width of the blade there. These bronze liners look so good. I don't know if it, the color picks up well, but... It looks very good. Um, this particular knife, I got it for, well, a stupid reason. I want to be able to uh, wear it with dress pants. It'll just hide in the pocket. And additionally, if I'm wearing a flannel, which it's, we're getting out of flannel season right now, I can just stick it right in here. If I'm wearing a dress shirt, I can kind of stick it in there. It'll just slide right down, kind of just disappears. Looks like a pen. Actually, I have a CRKT pen I carry every day. I've carried this for, 
I don't know, two or three years. You can see it's pretty beat up. This is the Williams pen. Awesome pen. I love this thing. It writes, it's got a Fisher Space Pen uh, insert. It writes on everything. Um, but in comparison, this thing is, it's a little bit heavier than the pen. Definitely a little bit heavier. Um, but I think it's about the same size when I was looking at it. Yeah. So if we look at it, just side profile, actually let's put the clips facing the same way. Uh, you can see when it's in the pocket, the pen will actually stick up further than the knife. If I do a comparison back to back, it is just about the same width. You can see it sticks out just a little bit right there, but it is very, very close in size. Obviously it's shorter in length than the pen, but it's it's gonna conceal in a pocket just like this pen does. Um, no problems there. That's really about it, I think. Um, I don't really have anything else about this thing. It's, it's a great little knife so far. I'm sure it's gonna be super slicey. Let's, I got a piece of paper here I can try it out on. Just like that. So it comes sharp, obviously. Um, hopefully it takes a good uh, a good edge once uh, I wear this thing down, but I plan to wear this with mainly dress clothes and then if I'm wearing a flannel, honestly, I'm probably gonna bring it just because I like having that in there. I was carrying my pen up here, but I found myself, Every time I went to go get my pen, I grabbed my pocket because I've been carrying it there for two, three years. It's just automatic. Um, I don't normally carry anything up here, so this would be um, a good spot for this because I'm not gonna really take this thing out much unless I need to actually cut something. Someone asks about it, I guess. Um, that's really about it. I think we're gonna cut it off there. I guess if you have any questions on, uh, on the specs you can put it in the comments and i'll try to find some stuff for you otherwise just check out blade hq um, they'll have everything you need to know in there um so for now i guess thanks for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe we'll see you guys next time thanks